It's a pristine area and photographically it's a paradise. That's why I moved here. We're out on the water pretty much every day. I think after a time, we do feel a sense of responsibility towards it. It's over 3,200 hectares in size, New Zealand's largest unmodified wetlands. That's still in its original state. So these are the black bill gulls. We've got good numbers of them on the lagoon. Banded dotterels, which are just on the shoreline, that's the smallest wading bird on the lagoon. Mount Cook Araki on the far right, and Mount Tasman just inside, the Southern Alps. They do say that um, some of the best views of Franz Josef Glacier are now from the Okurito Lagoon. Fully in retreat right now. Got lots of fish jumping out here this morning as well. <laughs> and we've got a first kotuku, great white heron, up on the bank. We sort of have learned over the years how to approach them and try and leave them in peace. But uh, this bird is just having its morning fish and, yeah, won't be bothered by us. We have a resident population of about eight to 10 that stay here year round. Uh, they're extremely territorial, so this one um, we affectionately call Heronius. <laughs> Stunning birds. Only about 180 of them in the entire country. Now I've been trapping here around the back of the village and around the lagoon for seven years now. It certainly made a difference to help keep numbers up, no question. Yeah, I've been probably getting 80 to 95% of the pests with, with the traps I've been using. The last one is the most expensive and hardest to find. Oh, nobody home, that's good. The numbers are way down as they should be, but there still are rats here. Until we get zip here, there'll still be a few left behind. The whole area will be about 110,000 hectares where we hope to eliminate every rat, every stoat, and every possum. That's the big change, and they're using modern technology to try and achieve that. I'm confident they'll get there. They've got the resources and the people to do it, but it's not going to be an easy task. Is there a diversity of opinion about the protection of this water? The Oakridge Lagoon is of national park quality. That's plainly obvious. We've come up with a solution with uh, local Naitahu to make the area a Mataitai reserve, which protects the land and waterways for both the environment and the people, and no commercial activity is involved. We've been after ducks, and we've got about a dozen or so, um, different species, mallard, grey, paradise. Um, that was a good weekend. If, for example, one of the fisheries was being overexploited, uh, we can put a rahui on that for a while to allow that fishery to recover. It works very well. We've had no major problems here. The founder fishery is in good health. Uh, the shellfish here are in good health. So the mud flats here, the tidal flats, are really rich in food. So that's what attracts them. We've got a Caspian tern, that's the largest of the terns. The variable oyster catchers, a pair. Now they will mate for life. We've got good numbers of pied cormorants, pied shags on the Ocarito Lagoon. White fronted terns? Yeah, about a hundred of them, I think. Uh, 
it's just such a good example of how birds thrive in places like this. And there's just not so many of them left. Everybody loves to see a heron catch a fish. <laughs> yeah. You can watch them for ages and they'll just be Nothing. so still, yeah. but to see them catch fish. I think that we always have to think ahead and not take anything for granted. If we can look after it, it'll be here. Others get to enjoy it. You know, we've just got to put the time and the effort and the energy in. You want to think that it's always going to be this way, but you sometimes have to do a little bit of work to make sure that it is.